Are you still looking for that perfect gift for the wine, beer, and spirit lover on your list? If you are, I've got you covered in this week's episode. I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite gift ideas and tips for you to be able to make shopping easy, save you time, save you money, and maybe give you some ideas of how you can treat yourself as well. So if you're ready, let's get started and dive right into some gift ideas for wine, beer, and spirit lovers. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Wine Shop Talk. I'm your host, Somalia Aranozar, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. If we haven't met before, it's lovely to have you here. And if we have, welcome back. Now, for those of you who are new, you should know that I've been a professional Somalia for over 20 years now. And it's my passion and my privilege to make learning about wine not only fun and easy, but also practical meaning I want you to feel comfortable and confident when shopping for wine for not just fancy occasions, but for everyday life when you're making memories with family and friends. So on that note, in this week's episode, I have some very practical gift ideas for wine, beer, and spirit lovers on your list. I'm going to keep this episode short this week. I know time is tight during this time of year, and you can listen to this while you're in the wine shop as you're shopping online. If you are watching on YouTube, I'm going to have images of products and I'm going to be sharing some links below in the show notes to some of the products as well. So it's going to be super easy for you to look into the products that I'm talking about in today's episode. And just as an FYI, none of the products I'm talking about today are sponsored. These are just some of my favorite gifting ideas. Well, let's start with the wine lover on your list. I put this episode together where I'm going to give you three ideas for each. The first one I'm going to suggest is going to be glassware. If you know the wine style they like, or if they love red wine or white wine, or maybe they love bubbles, beautiful glassware is always appreciated. And if you know the style of glassware that they like, you can add on to it. Now, everyone wants to know what glassware I like. What do I use? I have the Spotswiesel glasses. I really, really like them. They are beautiful. They are strong. There's some titanium in them. Don't get me wrong. I love the Riedel glasses too. So if you have the Riedel, there are beautiful glasses there too. So it's feasel, it's just been very durable and beautiful, and it's a glass style that I highly recommend. And again, the link is going to be in the show notes below on either YouTube or podcast so that you can do a little bit more research about these glasses if you have not heard of them before. So glassware, 100% is something I would recommend as a gift. Next gift is something you probably don't buy yourself, and that's a really nice ice bucket. If somebody loves sparkling wine or they love white wines, a really beautiful ice bucket that you can either use for entertaining or anytime you're sitting on your patio. It's just a nice gift, and it's one of those things you probably don't buy yourself. A multi-bottle ice bucket is really nice to have because you may have an ice bucket that fits one, but if you're having a get-together or party, multi-bucket, multi-bottle ice bucket is 100% a great gift idea. And there are all kinds of styles of them, so you can fit it to the person that you're buying for. And my third idea for the wine lover is a multi-bottle carrying bag. Now, I have a nine-bottle cloth carrying bag. It's so handy to shop with. It's actually been around the world with me because it's so easy. Because you can fit in a single bottle, three, you can get a six. But if you can find a larger carrying bag, and if you are walking to your local shop or you're traveling, going to the cabin, it's just easier than sometimes always having a box. So definitely this is something that if you can get a multi-bottle carrier bag, and again, I'm going to have some pictures up on the screen here for those of you watching on YouTube. Great idea and always recommended. You just come on, make sure they're sturdy. They fold a bunch. There's beautiful picnic backpacks as well. But a carrier bag is always going to be appreciated. So those are my three things for the wine lover on your list. Let's move on to the beer lover on your list. Now, for the beer lover on your list, we get into glassware again. But for this gift, I really love to give a beer glassware sampling pack in that a lot of times people haven't tried different beer glasses. They've maybe see a Pilsner glass, the tall sort of flute looking one, but they haven't tried all the other different beer style of glassware. So you can get a pack that shows that has usually about five or six different beer style glasses. And this allows your beer lover to try their beer styles in a glass that has been developed to showcase that style at its best. And it can be a life changing experience when you try the right beer in the right glass and see how the aromatics and the flavors really lift out of it. So a beer tasting glass set is a really cool gift if they don't have one already. A second idea for the beer lover on your list is to do a local craft beer gift basket. If you have a local brewery, you can go to your favorite shop, but put together a collection of different styles of local craft beers. There's so many different styles out there. But it's a really cool way to let them explore the local beers. You could also do international styles as well. But definitely you could put together a really cool gift basket of all kinds of local craft beers. And it's a really great way to 
shop local as well during the holidays. And my third idea for the beer lover in your life is to do a beer pairing cookbook or create a beer pairing and give it to them as a package. There's some wonderful books out there right now, and I have a couple of favorites. I will link them below if you'd like to take a look at them that have recipe and beer pairing ideas. So it makes it easy to pull together a wonderful experience of both the food and the beer style. And that's really going to help, again, open up the experience. Someone may love beer, but they haven't brought them together necessarily to see all the magic that it can create with the flavors. So a great book and then potentially some ingredients of bringing them together. There's also some beautiful Christmas beers this time of year, and you can get the Christmas beers and maybe get those with some Christmas cookies or something along that way. So some ideas there for the beer lover in your life. Now for the whiskey lover in your life, again, I have three ideas. My first one is going to be glassware again, and some of my favorite whiskey glasses is going to be the Glen Karen glass. This fits in your hand so well. The aromatics come and allows you to pour beautiful sampling size, but the Glen Karen glass is, in my mind, is a must-have for any whiskey lover in your life. So highly recommend that any whiskey fan has some Glen Karen glasses at home for tasting or a glass style similar to. And my second idea for the whiskey fan in your life is going to be a copy of Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible. This is the whiskey book. Each year there's a new edition and inside you're going to have a breakdown of his ratings for the whiskeys, some whiskey notes, but if you have a whiskey fan who doesn't buy themselves a copy of this book, they're going to appreciate it. People will look up the collectibles. They'll look up whiskeys from around the world. So Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible is definitely on the list of whiskey enthusiasts around the world. And my third idea for whiskey fans is going to be whiskey rocks. So these are stones that you can freeze. So instead of using ice, which may dilute your whiskey, these are stones that you can put inside the whiskey. You're going to chill them. And so no water will dilute your whiskey. The other is to do, you'll see the ice ball maker. So you can make some beautiful large format ice, melt very slowly when you're having a beautiful glass of whiskey, should you take it with ice. Both of these are really good if you have somebody who likes a chilled glass of whiskey or likes it with ice, then the ice ball maker is a beautiful gift as are the whiskey stones. So those are some good ideas as well. So now you have three ideas for the wine, beer, and whiskey fans. Here's a couple of ideas that are good for everybody. Gift certificates, they're not a cop out. And if you know somebody who's pretty specific about what they like, then they're always going to appreciate a gift certificate to their favorite store. So if you know their favorite shop, then definitely a gift certificate is going to be appreciated. The other is to do an experience. So give a gift certificate to a tasting a brewery tour, a winery tour if you live close by, or a dinner with a brewmaster or a winemaker or a whiskey maker coming in. So look and see if there's something at some of the restaurants in your city and give them an experience. And if you can go, you're also giving them your time as well, which we know is what most people want is to spend time with their friends and family during the holidays and in the new year. So an experience is always going to be appreciated as well. And then finally, absolute shameless plug, watch in the new year. I'm going to be coming out with some new courses. If you've visited my website lately, you're going to see we're doing some transition work. We've changed platforms and there's some brand new classes and a new website coming. So watch for that in the new year. There's going to be some beer classes, wine classes, and whiskey classes for you to learn at home at your own pace and spend some more time with me. And don't worry, I'm going to be sharing lots about this in the new year. But if you are looking for something fun to do with your company, to do over the holidays with family and friends, in the show notes below, you're going to find a link. I've put together an entire guide to make it super easy for you to host a fun Christmas cookie and wine pairing class. Now, this I've taught this class. I've presented it live, but I put all of my tips together as well as the shopping list, why things go together, how to set it up. I put it together, a really easy guide, and a short video goes along with it of me talking you through the guide and giving you more tips. So if you're looking for something fun this holiday season, just download the guide. It is for Christmas cookies with pairing ideas. And I've done this for wine, but if you'd be interested to have pairings for beer, just let me know in the show notes below. And I'm happy to do some beer pairings as well. And I'll upload that as an extra tasting guide to go along with the original tasting guide. So on that note, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. New episodes come out every Tuesday. And on that note, I want to wish you a wonderful holiday season. I know we all celebrate a little bit differently during this time of year, but I want to wish you and your family a magical season filled with brand new special memories. Cheers to you. I'll see you next week. Happy holidays. Bye now.